focus, concentrate. We had eight freshmen, um, and those eight freshmen had to play a lot of minutes. They didn't really get a chance to have a true freshman experience. And, you know, we knew uh, with our recruiting this year, we needed some leadership, we needed some experience, we needed some kids that could shoot and go get rebounds and just, you know, overall ones that had kind of been there and done that because last year every single thing we did was new for, you know, three quarters of the team. I think we did a really good job of finding those things. You know, we brought in two grad transfers, we brought in a four year transfer, we brought in junior college transfers, and we only brought in one freshman who's a very, very good freshman. Again, we're, we're a different team than we were last year. We'll, we'll play in a different style. We have some different strengths. Um, I think we should be a little bit more scrappy, um, a little bit tougher just because of the experience that we have. I have a fantastic staff. It's a great group of people to work with. The best part is that we all see things a little bit differently and we all listen to each other and we all take one another's input and then try to do what's best out on the floor for the players. What I may convey in a group setting, they do a fantastic job of conveying in a one-on-one -on -one and making sure we're all on the same page. We just have really good people, people that put uh, our student athletes first, uh, want them to have a great experience, want them to um, have this be real meaningful and real special for them. We actively sought out uh, kids who we thought could come in and be leaders, even if they were only going to be a one-year player or a two-year player. Um, kids that were leaders on the teams that they played on, kids who played on championship teams or in championship programs. So ones that had the experience to step in and, and like DOP, even though it's a brand new thing for her, it's not new at all because the role we're asking her to play is a role with which she's very familiar. Michaela, same thing. She has experience. She's a two-time All-American at the Division II level. They're used to winning. She played for a fantastic coach. So you know the transition that she's going to make will be successful. Um, Layla, I loved her the minute I saw her play. I just love her strength and her toughness. And, and she's undersized, but I've always loved undersized, strong kids and, and been able to be pretty successful with that type of kid. So, um, And she's no nonsense. She's just all about competing. Um, so. You know, those three pieces, and then Lucy Hoskova, just kind of a utility player for her team, um, quietly does not stand out, but yet at the end of the day gets everything done and her team's a win. What I've been really excited about is, you know, Abby's growth and development. Um, Abby and Kia are the two returners that played quite a few minutes last year and are coming back, are healthy, and we expect to be major contributors. Abby spent a ton of time working on her shot over the summer. Kia works tremendously hard all the time. They're both they're two of the hardest workers uh, in that class, and, and it shows. You know, They've made gains in their strength. They've made gains in their confidence. They've made gains in their on-court decision-making. So, you know, But for Abby especially, her transition has been much smoother this year. She knows what the expectations are. She's playing with a lot more confidence. At our guard spots, you know, we're, we're most excited about Iwana, uh, the freshman uh, that's come from Greece. She's, uh, she's kind of a combo guard, one-two guard, but for us this year, she's probably going to play a lot of point guard position. She's, she's ahead of herself in terms of being able to read the floor, having a high basketball IQ, being able to knock down shots. Uh, physically, she can get up and down the court. She's, you know, we, we're going to expect a lot from her this year. Um, she'll have the ball in her hands a lot. She'll be able to have some freedom to, to create some things for herself and for teammates. So we're really excited about her. Amelie, we hope, comes back from the injury she had last year. You know, she is uh, somebody that can also play a point guard position, has nice size, sees the floor pretty well. You know, we just haven't seen her play very much. She didn't get to play much last year because, you know, she was injured and then has been injured off and on uh, coming back. So we hope to have her back in the lineup soon. Julia played quite a few minutes for us last year, uh, is coming off of an appendectomy midsummer. So she's not full speed, full strength yet, but she, we expect her to be back 100%. And she gives us some size, you know, we're, we're very undersized, so she gives us just a little bit of height there in the post. We have a number of players who are out, uh, several that will be out for the season that sustain some injuries. 
last year in the off season. So we have some kids sitting out who, um, you know, we hope can get into the mix as we move ahead in the future. But I think we're better than we were. I don't know what the league is going to be like. You know, I don't know exactly how we're going to stack up and match up, but I do expect us to be a little bit tougher. I expect us to be more competitive. Um, I expect us to be just, you know, that, that year of experience and the experience that we brought in, I think makes us um, a little bit more of a contender than we probably were last year.